So job service, sorry, jo uh, before seeing about job server, data engine and access server, you, you have to know what is a job in data services, okay? So job is an executable unit in data services, okay? That is the only object which can be executed in data services, okay? So under the job, you will have your ETL code, okay? You will have all the objects which require to load the data from source to target, okay? Fine? So these jobs will be two types. One is bad job and other is real-time job, okay? Fine? So bad job is completely, this is used to process bulk amount of data, okay, fine, yep. and these are called offline jobs, okay, fine, so these jobs are developed by the developer and also executed and scheduled by the developer itself, okay, okay. fine, but real time jobs yep. are completely online jobs. Okay, so which are used to process online data or less amount of data. Okay, so daily transactions and everything should be processed as real-time jobs. Okay, so real-time jobs are uh, designed or developed by the developer but executed automatically by the real-time clients. Okay, so designer will not execute these real-time jobs. He will give this real-time job as a real-time service to real-time clients so he the real-time client will send a message to start this job from his place okay yeah. so now yeah. just you simply re uh, remember that bad job is used for bulk amount of data and that will be executed by the developers as offline job okay but real-time job is used for less amount of data and it can be it cannot be executed by the developer okay it will be executed as a real-time service by the real-time clients okay automatically yes fine got it yeah yeah so here now you are done with jobs right you are clear with jobs okay now we shall see what is job server okay so job server is the service which will retrieve the job information okay and provides to the data engine okay fine Clear? Yeah. So it, it retrieves complete job information. Okay. So how many objects are there in the job? How the objects are placed, whether it is in parallel or whether it is in series. Okay. Fine. So how should those objects should be processed? Okay. So those all information it will collect. Okay. It will retrieve and it will give to the data engine to process the job. Okay. So job server is simply yes. used to co collect the complete information and give to the data engine. Okay, and next data engine processes to perform data extraction, transformation and movement. Okay, so this yeah. data engine will execute those jobs. Okay, by the help of the yeah. information provided by the job server. Okay. Got it? Fine? Yes. So to execute a bad job, you require both job server and data engine services. Okay, clear? Fine? Yeah. So this access server is a real-time request reply message broker, okay? So as I said, uh, we have seen in the architecture, access server is completely dedicated to real-time clients, okay? Fine. It simply acts as a request reply message broker between real-time clients and our BODS, okay? So as I said, yes. so this is used to process real-time jobs, okay? Fine. Yeah. Fine. So whenever a real-time client sends a message to execute this real-time job, okay, so there should be a yeah. service to receive that message, right? So that service is yeah. access server. It receives the message from real-time clients, okay, fine, okay. and gives that information to the job server, okay, fine. Yeah. So the job server will get to know that access server gave a message to execute some particular job okay so it will get the job information and give to the data engine data engine will execute the job okay and then job server will give reply to this access server and then access server will give reply to the real-time client client 
okay so that that is how yeah. the process works okay so to execute real time yes. jobs you need both job server access server and also data engine services okay. got it so this is how yeah. your access server works okay so whenever real time client sends a message request okay so access server will take it and gives that message request to job server okay so All job server will get yeah. complete information of the job and gives to the data engine okay so yeah. that is for example it's a, a real time job okay so the, the real time job it will give information to data engine then after executing so job server will give message reply to the access server access server will give response to the real time clients okay yeah fine so now to process a bad job what services are required uh, data services it's data job server and data engine job server and data engine plus data engine is required okay yeah fine for real time jobs uh, first we need to have access server and then job server yes access data server engine. plus job server plus data engine okay you have to remember this so this is very important question for interviews okay yeah. actually most of the guys don't know about this right okay yeah so this is how the services work in data services fine clear yeah so now clear about services right so next thing is data services management console okay yeah. So in the architecture, see, we have done with BODS designer, repositories and services. Okay, next thing we have to see is management console. console. Okay, so management console sure. is the only web tool of data services. Okay, fine. So for data services, you have only web tool, only web based tool. That tool is data services management console. Nothing but if you want to work with management console you have to work with a browser okay fine yeah. so in this management console you'll have six web applications okay so it is a collection of six web applications okay so these six web applications are administrator impact and lineage analysis operational dashboards auto documentation data validation data quality reports okay fine so this administrator web app is completely admin tool okay so where data services admin yeah. will work okay fine yes. and these five are reporting tools okay, okay. Yes. these five are reporting tools of data services okay so using administrator yeah. web app you can do all the activities which you can perform in data services designer except de designing or developing okay so except developing modif modifying okay you can do all the things like executing the jobs okay uh, testing the jobs okay so all these uh, like user maintenance okay central repository configurations profiler repository configurations all these activities will be performed in administrator okay so it is a collection of huge amount of activities okay so you have a separate class for data services management console in that i'll explain each and every web app clearly okay clear yes. fine as of now you just remember administrator is completely admin tool okay in this you can perform all the activities like executing the jobs monitoring the jobs scheduling the jobs okay maintaining access server maintaining real uh, real time jobs comes for access server right maintaining central repository okay or central repository uh, creation and users creation okay profiling repository maintenance these all things you can perform in administrator okay so this impact and lineage yeah. analysis operational boards auto documentation data validation and data quality reports these are reporting tools and each and every uh, uh, web app has its own uh, identity and its own separate feature okay fine so you, you will see clearly about this in next class 
okay so you just remember now yeah. management console is the only web based tool in BODS which has six web applications inside it okay clear yeah yeah yes so next thing is data quality components okay so in the architecture we have this data quality components okay so in data quality components what are the things you have you have dictionaries directories and address server okay now we shall see what are all this so as i said uh, when i was explaining about data quality you require backend data to compare the source data okay so when you compare only you can know how much bad is your data and then you can perform data quality on that okay so to store that backend data you require directories and dictionaries okay so directories are the storage locations at operating system level okay as i said you will have two types of cleansing right one is data cleansing and address cleansing for address cleansing you require reference data for data cleansing you require that means uh, person and firm cleansing you require cleansing packages okay so these two yeah. will be maintained in directories at operating system level okay see for example see this is where data services will be installed okay in my system it is installed in C drive in program files you'll have SAP business objects inside this you'll have data services okay so inside this you have data quality folder see inside data quality folder you'll have a separate folder for reference data okay and separate folder for data cleanse okay so inside this yeah data cleanse you have person form cleansing package okay so inside this reference data you'll have actually directories of particular country on which you are going to work okay fine so yeah. reference data will store address directories cleansing package will store person and form directories okay clear yes. got it so these directories yeah. are storage locations at operating system level and dictionary search so could you show that once again the path path is simple uh, the folder where you install in that program files you'll have sap business objects inside sap business objects you'll have data services inside data services you'll have a folder for data quality okay inside data quality you'll have a reference data folder and data cleanse folder okay clear yes. yeah yes so at these places you have to maintain the directories at operating system level okay so and dictionaries are storage locations at database level okay fine so whenever a person and form cleansing packages are installed okay uh, those corresponding dictionaries will be installed in your repositories okay fine okay. so in these dictionaries you'll have uh, what we can say mm -hmm. oh. you'll have uh, standard classifications of the data okay so in directories you'll have data okay fine yeah. but in dictionaries you'll have classifications or standard formats of the data okay for example uh, how the email id should be for india how the email id should be for usa okay fine so how the uh, person name uh, whether it should be as first name last name surname or whether it should be as given name one given name one given name two okay so for each and every country you'll have a separate dictionary so when, uh, whenever you are working with a data quality transform you have to mention those corresponding dictionaries for the particular country okay clear you got it and also whenever you are working with address cleansing transform you have to specify those reference data path in the operating system level okay clear yes. fine and next address server is the separate server service dedicated for data quality okay so this is the service which will be uh, working at the back end whenever you are working with address cleansing transformations okay whenever you are working with address cleansing transformations okay so these services will help to process these address cleansing transformations because you have to compare the reference data 
with the source data, right? So to compare yeah. the source data with the reference data, you need a backend service to process this, right? So that service yeah. is address server. Okay? Got it? Yes. So next remaining is central management console and information stable. Okay? So these two are user interfaces which are not coming with data services but involved in data services architecture, right? Fine? Yeah. So what is central management console? It's CMC. Okay? So this is a web-based tool coming with SAP BIBO or SAP IPS. Okay? And these SAP BI platform, okay, completely that might be BIBO or IPS, is involved in BODS architecture from 4.x version. Okay, so from the CMC, complete user maintenance and user authentications and security management will be performed. Okay, clear? Yeah. Next, information yeah. steward is completely data management tool which will be coming, it's a separate software. Okay, fine. Okay. Whenever it is installed, so information steward is completely, uh, uh, it's a separate software but involved in data services architecture to perform data management activities. Okay, so information steward and data services complement each other in overall data quality and data governance. Okay, so that means combination of data services and information steward will give overall 90% uh, to 95% of data quality. Okay, fine. So it, this is the best combination to manage your data to get good quality of your data. Okay, fine. So in information steward, data insight tool will be used to perform profiling. Okay, and uh, new features are added to information steward called custom cleansing packages and match review. Okay, so these two helps to uh, give a high level data management okay so cleansing packages as I said this is required for cleansing person and form data right fine so whenever see for example you are working with a country and that country cleansing packages is not available not installed with data services then you can create your own custom cleansing package in information steward and then you can import that to data services and you can use for data cleansing okay fine yeah. and match yeah. review. As I said, data match is one of the activity in data cleansing, right? So what is matching does deduplication, right? It will group yeah. uh, duplicate records and provide a master record, okay? But you have to finalize which is the master record among the duplicate records, right? So each and every record will not have full data, okay? So first record may have half data, second record may have 20%, third may Third record may have another twenty percent. Okay, you have to combine all these duplicate records and create a master re master record, right? So for that, match review is should be performed in information stick. Okay, to finalize the master record in the duplicates, that is to perform deduplication. Okay, so these are all the tools completely or components completely involved in BODS architecture. Okay, got it? Yeah. So clear, right? Okay? Yeah. So I'll send this PPT, just go through this and if you have any doubts, you can ask me tomorrow. Okay? Clear? Yeah, sure. sure. Fine? Yeah. So tomorrow we'll be seeing what are the components, uh, I'll, I'll be explaining how the installation will be first. Okay, we'll be not seeing, I'll just overview that and we'll see what are the components installed after BODS is installed and we'll see complete explanation of each and every component. Okay, clear? Yeah. Okay then, so we shall meet tomorrow. So I will ping you the time. Okay, if I don't ping you the time, we'll be meeting at regular timings. Okay, 10 p.m. Yeah. Clear? Yes. Fine? Yeah. Okay then. Have a good night. And please mail this, no? Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just share in Skype now, okay? Yeah, fine. And uh, tomorrow morning I'll upload the videos. And I'll share the credentials. Today I, I didn't get time to upload. Okay? Yeah, no problem. Just this PPT is enough for me today. Yeah, fine. Okay then. Okay? Yeah, good night. Yeah, okay, bye.